Pitching. Now, this is an interesting topic. Pitching comes from American English to, to pitch a ball, like in baseball, to pitch. This means to have an idea, a concept, a value proposition, which you pitch, which you propose to a client. It can be an ex-client, a current client, a new client, doesn't matter. A remarkable thing is, in terms of the topic of pitching, that most of the law firms that I visit, they are doing absolutely no pitching, nothing at all. Many law firms are responding to RFPs, requests for proposals, and when they're asked to make a proposal, then they'll propose something. But why aren't they doing unsolicited pitching? Why aren't they creating a value proposition, having something interesting to offer clients, and then pitching it, and proposing it, and trying to sell it? So that's what we look at in this topic. We look at pitching. We look at both how to win RFPs, and we look at how to win unsolicited pitching. Personally, I'm not very keen on RFPs. I'd be very happy if a lot of the law firms I worked with didn't respond to RFPs at all. But if you want to play that game, you need to know how to win, not in terms of price competition. You know that's not going to work. You cannot be cheaper than the competitors. And you cannot compete in terms of quality because the clients won't understand your quality. And again, to be honest, maybe they don't really care about your quality. You are from a good law firm. The other competitors are good law firms. You can't compete on quality, you can't compete on price, but there are certain elements that you can include into your pitch to give you a competitive advantage. In terms of unsolicited pitching, when you're going to make a value proposition, you know, you don't have to do this through, through an email. Maybe one of the best things that you can do is tea marketing. Pitching, T for two, T for three. Why don't you have a meeting with your current client, a chat, tell them some war stories, a war story meaning something that happened in the in the legal industry either for yourself or for your for your colleague it's a kind of soft sell war stories are very persuasive they're very unobtrusive they, they make people feel comfortable and they're quite interesting so we look at how to do soft sell pitching we look at t for two and even t for three you can inc include one of your colleagues or ask them to bring one of their colleagues pitching is probably one of the most underutilized areas of business development for law firms that I see. And even in terms of responding to the RFPs, they do classic mistakes. If someone asks you, how much do you cost? The worst thing that you could probably tell them is how much you cost. You could respond by offering three price positions rather than one. Why don't you answer in terms of a down sell, a standard and an upsell? And again, if someone says to you, you're too expensive, your pitch is too expensive, do you know how to overcome that? Of course, you have to refuse, you have to disagree, you have to say, no, we're not too expensive. But then, do you, are you able to follow up with the UVP, the competitive advantage, which allows you to have that higher price? Anyway, that's some of the things which we examine in pitching.